Hey there, everybody. And I got another statue. This is a Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy is quickly, or she's actually been one of my favorite characters, but just glad to see there's a lot more of her now being represented in you know, statues and figures. And this one is part of the UNESCO um, Couture de Forest line. And so that's a line of like upgraded figures they have with these kind of really stylish, um, you know, artistic, I guess, interpretations of the different DC um, women. And they've also done like Disney characters and everything. But in this case, you can see her dress is like this kind of long flowing gown with the all the leaves and everything in it. And she's got her really bright red hair. And so she stands about uh, maybe seven, eight inches tall. This one's got a really good, you know, paint application. Sometimes they're a little off, you know, they're not the higher end collectibles, but they're really neat, like display pieces that kind of break it up from the, the typical. You can see here, she's got some glitter along the edge of her dress and then she's holding her little plant in a pot that's kind of wrapping around her arm. And then she's got some glitter right there on the top too. And she's even got a little gemstone there in her ear for the earring. Here, we'll get you a good on the face. So pretty cool. I like the way they did this one. They've also got Catwoman. This is one of the newer ones. Um, I already did reviews on the Wonder Woman. I really like that one. And then the Supergirl. So it's good to see they're kind of branching out. I think they have Harley Quinn, Catwoman, Poison Ivy here, and then Black Canary. And they might be doing some of the other ones too. But even the skin tone, I mean, it's pretty flat, but it does show up nicely here. She's got a little bit of blush on her cheeks and the red lips and nails. So there you go. Quick look at the UNESCO Couture de Force Poison Ivy statue. And thanks for watching.